Uh, for a fine cut and when you're catching, there's no other mower on the market, I believe, is as good as the walkers. So. My name's Paul Blakers. Uh, I've been working at Canberra Airport for almost 10 years now. Uh, Dane Cleary, 15 years service at Canberra Airport. Well, I personally choose, chose the walkers over other brands was because the size of the mower, the areas you can cover in, the, in a certain amount of time. So you can cover a mass areas of a fine cut lawn, removing grass, and no other mowers can keep up with that. And I have tried other mowers, so. They're just a good mower for these type of areas. Um, they catch the grass well, as you can see. Um, Dane's crew would mow this weekly. weekly. Um, like most of the areas around here on all the irrigated lawns. Um, so they just give a, a really good finish and that's what you expect when you look around the airport. Everything's done to a certain standard. Um, so we've really got to have a mower that's up to that standard. So for me, like with the, we've got big open areas here, like four and a half thousand square metres over there of irrigated open space. We still use the walker to fine cut. And then we've got areas of 12 square metres in between gardens and we use the walker for a fine cut. So it's doing mass areas as well as the smaller, like a little backyard area. So we're covering all areas. Mowing it weekly, you sort of get that nice finish, those nice lines um, around both sort of precincts. And so that's what you look for. Um, and it just, it adds to the whole appearance of the area. So um, some of the ground's undulating here and there. So the deck, it does, it floats over and gives a nice cut. And you, you're not scalping the lawn like you would with some other mowers. Yeah, well that's, we have no compaction problems whatsoever. Um, so I haven't had any issues with weight at all over my no, career. Some lawns you're running, you have to run over the same direction week after week. So it, it's good, you're not getting that compaction down and it does, it, it's um, the easiest mower to use in a lot of those areas. Yeah, so winter, say from May, from May to August, we slow right down, we probably mow once every three weeks. Um, Paul's pre-sync, he actually keeps the mowers going because he has massive trees over there that drop leaves all year. So, <laughs> yeah, basically we're doing leaf pickup. We'll, we'll probably stop halfway through May depending on the growing season and then it's purely leaf pickup. So, and there's a, a lot of it. So we'll still use two to three walkers doing the leaf pickup. The way that, to get that nice even level cut, I think it's got a lot to do with the blower, taking the grass up out of the deck into the catcher area. So I think, uh, my opinion is the blower, if you've got a real healthy blower in the machine, then your cut's amazing. Um, it's getting that grass out of the deck, freeing up space under the deck. Um, so yeah, I think it's got a lot to do with the blower personally, and the deck talks for itself, it does its thing, so it's magic. Oh, it's, it's brilliant. Um, you know, it really is. You can, you can mow just about any lawn over there, and you'll be picking up, and you'll still basically get almost 100% of it. Up. So if you had to, you know, try and imagine trying to rake that up or use a blower, a hand blower or something like that. So it's just a time saving thing. Um, so it's perfect and still sort of mow throughout the season, pick up all the leaves and uh, little sticks that are floating around. So it works perfectly. If you need to collect grass and even if you don't, um, our side shoot still gives a, a good finish as well. So you can put, there's a huge amount of choice in decks. Um, I think you do, you've just got to make that decision and it, they do pay for themselves. Yeah, well, um, the owner of the, of the airport, he's a real green thumb himself and loves his landscape and that's a priority for him. Like people come in, they see it, they want to see everything um, uh, to a high standard. Um, and that's why we're lucky enough to be, uh, have real good machinery to get this fine cut that we want to produce. Yes, uh, I get a lot of my comments from people that behind this, this bridge, drive over the bridge and they see a nice pattern through the lawn and they're on the phone to me going, wow, it's looking amazing out there. So yeah, it's not so much the airport community that are giving us the raps, it's the people driving past. <laughs> so.